In last week's video, I went over smart crates and smart playlists and why you should be using them in your DJ software in addition to or instead of the regular crates you might already have. Well, recently in my comment section, I had this question asked regarding smart crates and it got me to think, how would I get around this issue? Because in some of my smart crate setups, I did run into this issue as well. So I did a little bit of digging, did a little bit of research, and I found a solution. So let's switch the view over to Serato, where I can go over exactly what this issue is and how I got around it and why this makes smart crates even more powerful. Now that we're in Serato, let's go over the question that the commenter had. So he was basically asking, how do I create a smart crate where I can have multiple genres into that smart crate? Because normally if I go ahead and create one, that's say, let's do R and B for an example. And let's just add hip hop as another example. So we'll go genre hip hop. If I go ahead and click save and let that work, only three songs show up in this smart crate. And I know I have thousands of hip hop and R and B songs. And I can show you that easily, but if I were just remove one of these and I just show just the R and B tracks, now, once the smart crate finishes working, going through my library, you can see there's tons and tons of songs here. So my workaround originally was to make another smart crate. Since we already have the R&B one, let's go ahead and make a hip hop one. And then if we save that, let that work now. So we have all the R&B in this smart crate, and then we have all the hip hop here. So what you could do is just create a regular crate drag both of these into this regular crate, making these sub crates. Now, when you click on this regular crate, both R&B and hip hop show up in this one single crate. So you don't have to, you know, go through each of these. There's an easy way to combine the two by throwing it into just one regular crate, right? But after doing a little bit more research, I figured out that there's an easier way to do this. So if we just go ahead and create a smart crate, and let's add those rules again. So genre, contains R and B let's do oh, genre contains hip hop. Now, again, if I went ahead and just click saved, we'd get the same results and only three songs would show up. But right here at the top, we have this checkbox that says match all of the following rules. So what this does is for a song to show up into the smart crate, it both has to, it both, so for a song to show up in the smart crate, each song that goes into the smart crate needs to follow the rules and they both need to include R&B and it needs to include hip hop in the genre tag as well to end up in the smart crate. Meaning for a song to end up in the smart crate in this case, each song needs to include R&B and hip hop in the genre tag, not either or. So if we go ahead and unclick this, what this is gonna say and what Serato is gonna do is any song that has the R&B tag can get into the smart crate and any, any song that has the hip hop tag will fall into the smart crate as well. So if we go ahead and click save, let that work. And just like this regular crate that it contains these two smart crates, if I click on this, it's pretty much, and not pretty much, it is the exact same effect, right? So we're getting all of the R&B songs and all of the hip hop songs all in this single crate. Instead of having to create three, we can now do it in one, which makes it so much faster and so much easier. Now, once I found this out, I thought to myself, how could I make this even more useful? I mean, the ability to create a smart crate with an or statement by unchecking that checkbox instead of an and statement, and the ability to throw multiple smart playlists into a crate to make them sub crates. How could I use this and utilize this to organize my music even better. So I thought to myself, this could be really handy in a private event, maybe something like a wedding where the client wants you to play certain genres of music. You can create a smart crate structure that makes that gig even easier. So let's use this example, right? So we're just gonna call this, in this example, wedding crate. And they want you to play hip hop and R&B. So this is the crate we already made. And maybe they want you to play reggae too, so. I have all of, oh, let's spell that right. All of my reggae tracks here. And I can throw that in there too. And then maybe they want you to play Latin music as well. So I have, since Latin has so many different genres, I use a special tag.
and then that's going to work. Now I have all the different genres that I want to play in this wedding. So I have hip hop and R and B reggae and Latin, and I can access all of them by just clicking on that one wedding crate. But say time comes and maybe the client comes up to you and like, Hey, can you play more reggae or more Latin instead of having, you know, maybe go through and open a genre column right here and then go ahead and click clicking on that. You could just click on that crate and it has all of that music right there. Or maybe it's time for just playing Latin music. You can go right into that right there all within just clicking that one wedding crate. It's all there. So being able to combine things all into one crate like that, but still having the ability to kind of drill down and just picking, you know, in this case, a certain genre out of that makes it so much easier to get through your library and satisfy that client even faster. Now, this is just one example, and I'm sure if you sat there and thought about it and the different situations and the different events you do, you could make this really useful and find even more uses for this type of smart crate structure. It boggles my mind to think I never thought of unchecking that little checkbox to open so many more possibilities for smart crates inside Serato DJ Pro. Well, I'm glad I found a solution and this has me going through my smart crates to see how I can make them even better. Now for the question of the day, what types of smart crates are you going to start using in your music organization system? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please be sure to give the video a like as it really helps with the algorithm to get this video pushed out to as many people as possible. And if you're interested in more DJ related content, be sure to click right here and be sure to click right here to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Also, I started a Discord community, which you can find the link to in the description down below, where you can find even more DJ related content. See you guys in the next one.